Congratulations, I believe you've gone through what is VGS, how to set up an inbound route, and how to set up an outbound route. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up VGS Collect to securely secure the information as it comes inbound to your VGS Vault. Now before we get started, there is a section on the left of your dashboard that says VGS Collect. This is where you'll get the credentials you'll need to set in your example that we go over. In addition to going over an example, the inbound and outbound routes, I did change the fields. So instead of account number, I've switched it to card number. And I added an additional field called card CVC. Now there is a caveat. CVC cannot be held or stored. So after an hour, this will be it will be removed from your vault. So you do need to keep this as, as volatile storage. On the outbound route, if we assume it's a third-party API, you'll need to make sure that you specify the fields required in the payload. So in this case, if the card number should be number, make sure you switch it to number. In terms of the CVC, make sure you specify CVC. Keep in mind that the storage needs to match where the CVC was stored, so in this case, it's volatile. Now, if you go to our GitHub repo, there's a VGS Collect example where you can look at how to process a credit card. So if you have a web page, you download this HTML form, you'll notice these links, the script and the vault ID are provided within your dashboard. So definitely replace the script and the vault ID. Inside the actual HTML, when you've updated those credentials, you'll notice under VGS that we actually call this card number and we call this card CVC, hence the reason why I updated the inbound route to match these field values. And then of course, if your path is different, you don't want post, maybe it's slash authorize or slash sale, make sure you update the path to match your filter. Okay, so I'm gonna run an example. So depending on your payment processor or payment gateway, you'll definitely wanna make sure you're using the test credentials for that particular processor or gateway. Obviously the inbound route should be going to your vault or uh, going through your vault to your actual server to save in your database. Uh, you would turn around and send it from your server when you wanna go ahead and process a transaction. So I'm gonna pretend using Postman, I'm gonna reveal these aliases on the outbound and you should see that the credit card number and CVC is revealed. So that's how you would use BGS Collect. You'll secure the data on the inbound using our Collect.js or our SDKs, uh, and then keep in mind your server would send the payload exactly as expected by the third-party API. And that completes our tutorial.